Henry Everhart talking about his opinion about the, what the world should know about war. Well, <clears throat> I think it's important for most people to understand fundamentally how the military operates. You don't, you're trained to make decisions right away and you make them based on your immediate training. You don't have time to reflect on your life or try to project the future. You do what the military trained you is right and going to war uh, sometimes is voluntary and in a lot of cases it's not. Um, but I will say that you're trained to be ready to volunteer if a war uh, calls for you. Uh, so it's that pivotal point in your life that you focus on afterwards. At what point did you decide to go into combat, to go serve, to fight for your country? Um, I remember that point in my life. Uh, but I think it's important for people like civilians, for people who've never had any contact or experience with the military, to understand that um, when you come back from combat, uh, you realize the situations you've been placed in, meaning while you're there, it's kind of a blur, and you do what you're trained to do. And you don't think about repercussions. Uh, you think about winning the war. You think about accomplishing your mission. So. Uh, a lot of the symptoms you may have from combat are based on you reflecting. You never get the opportunity in combat to realize any symptoms because your feet are moving, you're, you're, you're going forward. And most importantly, you're trying to stay alive. So once you're out of the military or even just back uh, home, maybe still in the military but out of the war, you start to reflect and how people accept that reflectance is different from person to person based on your experiences and your previous personality because your personality does change when you come back so um, it's easy to sit back sometimes and judge but if you know anybody who's been in combat you might want to give them the benefit of the doubt um, a lot of people don't accept it, accept the reflectance of combat the same way. Um, I didn't realize I had PTSD until I lost a couple of jobs, really good jobs. And the basic uh, cause of losing those jobs was being late to work, and that's because I couldn't sleep at night. So a co-worker may look at me and say, oh, well, he's out partying all the time. No, I'm actually in the bed at 7, hoping I can get up at 5 to get to work. Hoping I can squeeze in enough sleep to get to work the next day. Uh, a lot of times the result is I fall asleep at 1 o'clock and I wake up at 3. Um, and I'll go back to sleep at 4 and oversleep. That was a pattern I had. Uh, I even resulted to, uh, or resorted to alcohol. Um, not knowing medically what the results are. Of course, it's a depressant and you don't sleep well. You never get what they call REM sleep or a rapid eye movement where you're deep into sleep. I never got that. Or, well, I wasn't getting it at the time I lost those jobs. But to judge people uh, who've been in combat can sometimes be a misjudgment. Talk to that person. Get to know them. Um, a lot of times it's difficult for us to open up, but if you can, you'll start to understand that combat is really um, something to be dealt with. And uh, my heart, my heart really goes out to the, the Vietnam veterans who came home and received the opposite reception we received. Uh, a lot of those guys are gone, unfortunately. But, you know, you guys, when I say you guys, I mean civilians, people who've never been in combat, uh, you have an opportunity to accept the veterans coming back from these uh, Iraqi wars. Ex accept them in a different way, an understanding way, an empathetic way. And um, that would be greatly appreciated. Thank you.